big on social media. It's becoming very popular. Uh, saddle hunting, I've been hunting out of a saddle for 40 years. I've got 44 bucks that I've killed that make Pope and Young out of a saddle. That's all off public land and knock on doors for free permission, no bait, no leases, never paying to hunt anything. So I've been doing this a long time. I've written three bow hunting books. Uh, I've got a chapter in each book about hunting out of the saddle as well. Um, the reason it's becoming so popular is uh, Greg and Ernie started Tether, which is the company I'm here representing. Uh, Greg used to own a social media marketing company, and he's just kicking butt on social media. So it's becoming really popular, but there's a reason it's also becoming popular. It has a ton of advantages over any kind of conventional metal stand. Uh, and I'll lay a few of them out for you. For the saddle, you're tethered to the tree from the moment you leave the ground until you get back on the ground. So it's the safest thing you can hunt out of, period. Even with tree stands, if you've got the safety, the safety line, you still have to disconnect from it at the top once you get on your stand and look up for your safety line look around your tree. So you are at some point when you're getting into your stand and when you get out of your stand. With this, you're tethered to the tree the whole time you're in. You have a lineman rope that goes around the tree. The lineman rope hooks to this loop here and this loop over here. And it goes around the tree and it has a carabiner and you adjust it as you climb in the tree so you've got both hands free as you're climbing the tree put sticks in or steps or whatever. Once you get up to the top, with your safety belt still hooked around the tree, then you hook up your tree tether, and once you hook up the saddle, once you hook up to the saddle, okay, you're you still have your lineman rope around the tree, your safety belt, once you hook up, this is what you're gonna be hunting from, then you disattach your safety belt. And once you're done hunting, you get out your safety belt, hook it back up around the tree, then you disattach this, so now you're going down the tree with the safety belt on as well. So that's the that's one advantage, safety. I have people come to my workshops in the spring and they bring kids with them once in a while, 12, 14 year old kids, and the wives won't let their kids hunt out of tree stands because they don't feel they're safe. They want their kids to be tethered to the tree all the time. So that's one of the big advantages. Another huge advantage is with a saddle, if you can shoot 360 around any tree. I can move around this tree and shoot any, any direction. Another advantage of moving around the tree is if I Let's say, let's say I'm sitting here and uh, this gentleman here with the red cup, that's a deer coming in and I can see it coming in that direction and I don't want to shoot that deer. I can move around the tree as that deer's coming. So I can keep this tree as a buffer to hide behind all that tree going by so I don't get hit. If I'm hunting at a destination location, let's say, Let's say you are a apple tree, or you are a white oak, and you're dropping acorns, and you're a dull feeding destination, or a deer feeding destination. When I set up a tree, I'm going to set up where I'm 180 degrees on the back side of the tree from that destination spot. So if there's two or three does come in, and some fawns, or a subordinate buck I don't want to kill, I've got the tree as a bumper to hide tonight. They're not going to pick me, because they're going to be there for 15, 20 minutes, maybe even a half an hour. So if you're in a tree stand where you've got to be kicked off a little bit to the side on a larger diameter tree, you basically, there's a good chance that you can get hit. So by keeping the tree as a buffer, I've got my, I'd have my ball hanging right here. By keeping the tree as a buffer, all I'd have to do if a buck came in and just lift up my bow, slide to the side and take that shot. So with the saddle, it's real easy to move around the tree and basically shoot any direction. If I wanted to shoot, and I always try to keep the tree as a buffer between me and the deer. So when I, whenever I take a shot, it's 
typically just simply sliding to the side and doing that. I never have my body way out here on the side of the tree where it's easy to get thick foot. If you're hunting mature bucks in PA, Michigan, you know, PA and Michigan are probably the two toughest states in the country to kill a mature buck. There's not a lot of them around, and there's a lot of hunting pressure. So the deer are pretty in tune in avoiding hunters and picking hunters in trees. They look for hunters in trees. So with the saddle, keeping the tree as a buffer is a big, big deal. Being able to shoot 360 around any tree is a big deal. If you hunt public land, nobody's going to steal your tree stand because it's with you. With a saddle, you can prep a hundred trees and hunt all of them out of the same saddle. You never have to buy another saddle. So for retail stores that sell tree stands, this is a bad thing for them because once you make one purchase, you know, you're going to probably have 400 bucks into the whole deal, but you never buy another tree stand for the rest of your life. You hunt out of the same, I've hunted out of the same saddle for 40 years, and I've probably prepped seven or eight hundred trees that I've hunted from out of the same saddle. So nobody's going to steal your stand, nobody's going to hunt your stand when you're not there. Nobody's going to know where your stand was because there's no remnants of anything in the tree. There's nothing in the tree for people to see. Um, obviously it's not cumbersome. So if you're hunting public land in a heavily pressured state like Michigan or PA, you're typically bucking brush. When you're going into your spot, you're going through brush. Because if you're not hunting in security cover, you're out killing bunch with any consistency are pretty close to zero. So you're going through brush and when you go through brush with a climber or a hang on, you know, a 22 pound climber or a seven or eight pound hang on, you got your bow, you got your backpack, uh, you've got climbing sticks or whatever. I use steps, I don't use sticks because that's something else to me that's cumbersome. Basically, and you're catching up on the brush all the time and you're just cussing and swearing and you're sweating. So, um, it's not cumbersome. They weigh about two or three pounds and they fit in your backpack. They don't creep. You know, with a lot of tree stands, especially steel tree stands, if you shift your weight to make a shot, a lot of times you'll get a little bit of a creep. And that's the end of that hunt if you're in the Michigan EPA. Um, God, there's a gazillion things. <laughs> but that's, that's enough for now. There's about 21 things I have on a list that I've written in some articles and advantages. Um, obviously the weight, the cumbersome. Uh, I like the idea that you can prep as many trees as you want. You know, I've got 48 trees prepped right now for this season. I'll probably only hunt 12 of them once I actually go to them after the bucks have rubbed out and I'll do my speed tour, you know, just prior to season and see which ones have buck activity at them. Uh, and that's when I decide which ones I'm gonna hunt. But I've got a lot of trees and from year to year, you know, those trees change, you know, depending on mass, mass production, crop rotations, uh, fruit production, spray berries, and stuff like that. Stuff changes from year to year, so those trees are always ready. So one year I may not hunt them, and then two years later or three years later I may, because the mass is there today. So you can have as many trees prepped as you want, and you just walk to any tree at any time, you can climb the tree with whatever apparatus you're using for climbing, and you hunt, so that's a big advantage. Um, you know, a lot of guys that own private property, they got tree stands on every one of their trees. That's a lot of money. You got 20 tree stands out there, that's a lot of dang money. So not only do you have the potential of a tree stand freely, you know, you also got a lot of money, a lot of money invested. So because a saddle and everything involved with a saddle is made out of fabric, there's never any noise. Never any noise involved with the saddle. Any questions? Done.